Okay, our first exercise is going to be called the lip roll. And the lip roll actually is designed for a couple of different reasons. The first was uh, back in early bel canto, which is um, the old operatic world of singing, if you will. Bel meaning beautiful, canto meaning cantor or sing, beautiful singing. Um, the idea was to hold up a candle to your lips like this. <laughs> and not blow out the candle so that you'd have total control of your breath, okay? Now, it's also for opening up the face and opening up the sinus cavities and so forth and just relaxing the face, all right? So remember, we don't go because we're going to blow out the candle. We want to warm up as easy as we possibly can. And as we go through this, it's very important to remember, start out warming up very easy as you go through this. And as the voice warms up, you can start to add more pressure, more sound pressure, and more weight, which we'll discuss as we go. Now, if you can't do the lip roll, it's not the end of the world. It's not, you know, the most critical thing to this component of singing. It's just a good way to get started. Uh, if you can't do it initially, practice it. Don't go like this, because it's a false sense of the lip roll, and you'll never actually master it, and you'll always rely on doing this. Try to get it if you can, because eventually your face will relax and it will allow you to do this, okay? Um, the next thing is, is if you're um, going to be warming up at different times of the day, and depending on, on how you get, how good you get at this, um, you know, if you do this every single day, my suggestion is do this every day, five days a week, six days a week, not the lip roll, but the whole program. So you're going to want to go through the whole video and then do the audio portion and practice what you've learned in the video. Again, don't watch the video once and think you've got it. Watch the video, do the audio uh, practice portion. If you can have the time to do this five to six days a week, it'll grow your voice like mad. You can't even imagine how fast it'll grow your voice. Some people that are really brave can actually do it more than once a day. They can do it twice a day or, or it, it, even as much as they want if they're doing it correctly. If you are, have any question about whether you're not doing it correctly, please take a webcam, make sure that you're doing it right. I can make sure that you're on track. If you're going to do it more than once a day, if you're wanting to become a professional singer and you're really looking to grow the voice quickly, um, remember the voice is a muscle and it can only grow so fast. So don't expect to pick up 300 pound dumbbells your third week of singing. It's just not going to happen like that. But you can do it twice a day. Do it back to back. Don't uh, do it like say in the morning and at night because it's sort of defeating the purpose. Try to do it when you think you're going to sing. So if your regimen is to work to warm up in the mornings, do it in the mornings and do it back to back in the mornings. If it's in the evenings, do it in the evenings because the voice has a biorhythm. What do I mean by biorhythm? It likes to be woken up at the same time. It likes to be worked out at the same time. There's some people that like to work out in the mornings and people like to work out at night. Choose your time, but try to be consistent with that time. It'll be a lot easier on you so you don't have to try to find your voice over and over again. It'll come back to you much quicker and you'll have easier access. So with that said, uh, we're going to get started. And obviously the berries and the tenors, uh, you're going to be singing in my register. Um, ladies, if you're uh, a contralto or alto, also you'll be singing in our register. And if obviously if you're a soprano, first and second or a coloratura or something, you're going to be uh, singing the octave above us. Okay, so it's just this simple. I'm going to do simple scales first. And then again, the audio workout is your actual workout and the scales become more and more sophisticated as we go. probably if you're in your regular chest voice and there's we're going to discuss chest and head voice and then the mix connection and all that in, in a little bit but you're probably at the top of your range or coming close to it around the f sharp if you can roll off into your head and make that connection without hearing the uh, uh, the speed bump or the yodel we're going to talk more about that in a minute um, try to continue so I'm not going 
focusing really hard. Now, what do we do as we're going through this again? First thing, remember, what's the very first thing we do? We take our breath, we sit up straight, we get our posture together. We take our breath. That's, our, that's the engine that drives our ship. Let's not forget that. That's what we learned at the very beginning. We must do this first. Don't just go right and roll into the lip roll. Fine if you started with the lip roll just to practice it because you know, you're learning new stuff or whatever. That's cool. But remember, our breath, sit up straight, our breath, right? And then we do the lip roll. thing is, is sometimes you might need to wet the lips. So you see me licking my lips like this. That can help as far as relaxing the lips and not getting them stuck together so that they vibrate easily and uh, so forth. So we're going to keep going. 